They actually breathe through that glottis so that if you're wondering like, oh my gosh, she's gonna choke to death. She's not gonna choke to death. You can literally put your whole hand inside of her mouth. Okay, what we got here is probably one of the biggest boas I've ever seen. It's skinny and somebody dropped it off because it wasn't eaten for them and they wanted us to give it 110% college try. And so I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of a head start. Wow, it's got complete rainbow. And uh, this is a Guyana boa. And it must be, it must be pushing 12 feet long, over 10, for sure over 10 feet. And look at the head on this beast. So we're gonna do one, you gonna give me a hand? So we're gonna actually try to do is force feed it. Now, I haven't had it very long, but his body's obviously thin. Go ahead, right here. His body's obviously thin, but look at the head on this beast. It is just giant. I mean, it looks fake, it's so big. And that's because she's thin. And so she's, and what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna to try to carefully, I don't even know if I can do it because here, we're gonna hold it right there. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally, I got some warm water and some chicken legs and I'm gonna literally just try to get her to just accept. Oh, now I'm gonna just try to, man. Whoa, oh, whoa. Unfortunately, I can get I can get really bit bit really bad doing this with those big teeth. But how else am I going to possibly get her enough weight and strength to eat regularly? So there's what I want to do. So I'm going to literally, boom. Now I'm going to chain feed her about four or five of these. This snake here can eat a 50, 40 pound pig, I would say, without any problems. This is literally like putting a piece of popcorn. Go, let's lay her, lay her down for a minute a piece of popcorn in her mouth. The question is, will she resist it or eat it? So she's kind of trying to fight a little bit. Man, but at the same time, she may just start crawling and swallow it. So sometimes we, <clears throat> you can just get them started and they'll just swallow it down. So this is this is how we're gonna try first is the least amount of, of basically, you know, being tough with it. So we're just gonna like let her work her way but I can tell she's kind of tired. Like, you know, she's probably over 40 years old. I literally have never, ever seen one with a bigger head than this. And so I can't imagine with this snake, if we can get it eating really good, how big it can actually be. I would imagine it's probably at least 30 pounds underweight, 40, maybe more. And uh, so we're gonna see what we can do. She acts like she's gonna probably accept those ch piece of chicken. So I'm gonna just try to let her work for a minute. I got one all the way down to there now. So boom. Now chicken doesn't have the calories that I'd like to have, but at the same time, it like I thought, chicken's slippery. It's slippery and it's the right shape and she's so big that it's going right down. Oh, there we go. It's looking really going right. So this is sometimes what you got to do. So way back when I was young, there used to be, we used to deal with a lot of wild caught snakes. So we'd have to deal with this kind of thing. But now most of our snakes are born in captivity and are very, very used to of doing their own thing. And they're, you know, it's like your dog. And uh, I'm hoping that what I can do is get her some specialized food. I'll probably try uh, chicken. I'll probably try uh, uh, maybe a guinea pig, some little bit of couple, custom things to try to get her to actually feed on her normal normal response but she almost acts like she knows she needs it because i'll tell you this is they don't normally they normally fight a lot more than this we're going to just try to nurse her back get her all healthy get her size up we'll have her check for worms and parasites just to make sure that she's in good shape except you know the fact that she's not eating and make sure there's not a reason I'm a little bit, don't ever try this by the way, because her teeth are, I guarantee you those teeth get a hold of me, I'm gonna regret it. But that's just part of what you gotta do sometimes when you play zookeeper. It's got, it might be a little bit tough, but to get her acclimated, but I'm telling you, if there's somebody that's gonna be able to do it, me and Tim will work real hard at getting it done. And already I'm really hopeful because, just because she's letting me do this without too much resistance. So it's a good possibility that it's just gonna work out. So we'll know in a week because if this takes, we can work this way for a while to kind of get going on it. Oh. 
Like I said, in real life, this is almost no food. Look at this. You can see how big she is. You can literally put your whole hand inside of her mouth. Oh, remember I told you about those sharp teeth? Ow. Eh, see the little? They're sharp. Trust me. I, I can't squeeze it because it's there, but I touched the end. Sharp as a razor blade. Oh, now, the fun, amazing part is look at this. So that's the glottis right there. So when they're eating... They actually breathe through that glottis so that if you're wondering like, oh my gosh, she's going to choke to death. She's not going to choke to death because that's what that's made because it takes hours for them to eat a big pig. And here we are just taking a few minutes to get her going. And so she'll let that go. All this just needs to get past this first bend and we should be good. I literally have had her less than like maybe three days now, four days. And uh, we're just going to. People who had it said they tried really hard to get her to eat. So there we go. See that? So that she's done. So now she's just going to crawl. She's got a little tiny lump in there for her. Now the question is, what do you think about this kind of stuff? Is this crazy? The good news is, I guarantee you, there's not a whole lot of people know a whole bunch more ways to do it than us because we've been doing it for so long. Tim, Tim's been working here for 20 years, and I've been working, I don't even want to say how long I've been working with him. Tim just gave me a complete update, because I wasn't here when he was dropped off, so now the real story comes out. The people that got this guy got it because it was big and they were really excited, right? It was going to the Bronx Zoo. It was going to go to the Bronx Zoo, and it, but it wouldn't eat and wouldn't get established. So at the last thing what they wanted to do, they actually donated us, us to, to us to try to see if we could save it. So here's what they've already tried. They've tried chinchillas, they've tried guinea pigs, they've tried chicken, chicken, live chicken, live chickens, rabbits, rabbits. and you know what? It's going to be tough, but we're going to try everything we have to. The good news is we got its food down it. And he says lost 25 pounds at least. 25 pounds. I I, I figured it at least 40 pounds. Yeah. I'd be. I mean, it's a big snake. So biggest head i've ever seen on a boa in my life and i've been here a couple days i've seen a thing or two oh <laughs> oh wrong wrong commercial huh <laughs> anyway living the dream guys